State regulators have identified more than a dozen farms across Maine contaminated by industrial chemicals known as PFAS. The chemicals were in municipal sludge marketed by state government and used as free fertilizer for decades. State agricultural officials will soon roll out a program to compensate farmers for their losses, but the owners of a dairy farm in York County identified as Maine's first hotspot for PFAS contamination worry they'll be left out in the cold. News Center Maine's Vivian Lee has the story from Arundel. Fred Stone and his wife Laura took over the century old Stone Ridge farm in the mid 70s supplying several thousand gallons of milk weekly for Oakhurst Dairy. But instead of looking forward to retirement the couple is stuck in a toxic nightmare. You know we cried when we've We've killed a lot of these cows and we've cried when and there just aren't any tears left. The family's legacy took a huge hit five and a half years ago when high levels of PFAS chemicals were discovered in his cow's milk, soil, feed and drinking water. Fred alerted state regulators pulling milk from the shelves. He eventually had to put down the majority of the farm's brown Swiss and Holstein cows, which resulted in hundreds of thousands of dollars in lost income. We were the ones that, that brought this forward uh, and we've paid uh, a hell of a price for this. Earlier this year, the Department of Agriculture, Conservation and Forestry announced plans for a short-term income replacement program to help farmers devastated by PFAS contamination. Fred sent Nancy McBrady, the director of the Bureau of Agriculture, Food and Rural Resources at the DACF, this information on expenses and lost income with hopes of receiving financial assistance. Earlier this month, Fred received an email from McBrady stating, again, I want to stress the current income replacement program was designed for farms that have recently faced PFAS contamination, she states, resulting in the loss of sales. Fred worries that he and other farmers whose contamination was discovered before 2022 may fall through the cracks. It is a situation where kill a messenger, not the message. Aren't ya? Fred is also fighting to be compensated for his dead cows through the U.S. Department of Agriculture's indemnity program. They're facing extreme financial hardship. At a congressional hearing last yes, month, Senator Susan Collins took U.S. Agriculture Secretary Tom Vilsack to task for not promptly responding to inquiries she made about financial assistance for Maine dairy farmers with contaminated cows. Uh, we're working with EPA uh, to try to establish a national standard on what is an acceptable level or not of PFAS. And the reason for this is so that we can basically help to define the level of assistance and help that's required. A spokesman for the DACF tells News Center it plans to roll out the income replacement program and guidelines in the near future, which will be open to farms with current and prior PFAS contamination. The department says we'll also work with Fred to begin the application process. But the couple who still raise a small number of cows to show at agriculture fairs in New Hampshire say That's for sure. no amount of help will make them feel whole again. In Arundel, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine. The DACF's short-term income replacement program is separate from a $60 million fund to address PFAS contamination. The money is expected to go to health monitoring, purchasing contaminated farms, research and testing. We have more information on these programs on our website and our News Center Maine app.